him is on page F7. Come to my assistance, Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Crown him with many crowns, the Lamb upon his throne. Our have the heavenly anthem drowns all music but his song. Awake, my soul, and sing of him who died for thee, and hail him as thy matchless King. Him the Lord of love, <coughs> behold his hands and side, those wounds yet visible above in beauty glorified. No angel in the sky can fully bear that sight, but thou Jesus took a cup and gave thanks. I trust that even when I said, I am sorely afflicted, and when I said in my alarm, no man can be trusted, how can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise, I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill, 
before all his people. O oh, precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. In the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Jesus took a cup and gave thanks. Be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. To the Lord in the hour of my distress, I call and he answers me. O Lord, save my soul from lying lips, from the tongue of the deceitful. What shall he pay you in return, O treacherous tongue? The warrior's arrows sharpened and coals red hot blazing. Alas, that I abide a stranger in Meshech, dwell among the tents of Kedar. Long enough have I been dwelling with those who hate peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for fighting. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. I will arise and go to my Father, and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. Happy the man whose offense is forgiven, whose sin is remitted. Oh, happy the man to whom the Lord imputes no guilt, in whose spirit is no God. I kept it secret, and my frame was wasted. I groaned all the day long, for night and day your hand was heavy upon me. Indeed, my strength was dried up, as by the summer's heat. But now I have acknowledged my sins, my guilt I did not hide. I said, I will confess my offense to the Lord, and you, Lord, have forgiven the guilt of my sin. So let every good man pray to you in the time of need. The floods of water may reach high, but him they will not reach. You are my hiding place, O Lord. You save me from distress. You surround me with cries of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go. I will give you counsel with my eye upon you. Be not like horse and mule, unintelligent, meeting bridle and bit. Else they will not approach you. Many sorrows has the wicked, but he who trusts in the Lord, loving mercy surrounds him. Rejoice, rejoice in the Lord. 
Exalt you, Jesus. O come, bring out your joy, all you upright of heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. I will arise and go to my Father, and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. He is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead. Let us give thanks to the Father for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in life. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. To him we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God the firstborn of all creatures. In him everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. All were created through him, all were created for him. He is before all else that is. In him everything continues in being. It is he who is head of the body, the church. He who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead. So that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him. And by means of him to reconcile everything in his person both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The beginning, the firstborn of the St. Paul to the Ephesians. May Christ dwell in your hearts through faith, and may charity be the root and foundation of your life. Thus you will be able to grasp fully with all the holy ones the breadth and length and height and depth of Christ's love, and experience this love which surpasses all love so that you may attain to the fullness of God himself. To him whose power now at work in us can do immeasurably more than we ask or imagine. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations, world without end. Amen.
merciful to the faithful departed. Keep them from the power of the evil one. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty and eternal God, who in the folk St. John the Twenty Third gave to the whole world the sh world the shining example of their good shepherd, grant that through his intercession we may with joy spread the broad fullness of Christian charity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty be blessed to you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. Martyrology of October 12th. In Jerusalem, the Good Thief. Crucified beside Jesus, he believed in Christ's mercy and thereby obtained the assurance of his salvation in that same hour. In the region of Tunis, around 404, the martyrdom of about 5,000 African bishops clergy and laymen who had confessed their faith before the Arian persecutors by stating, we are Christians, we are Catholics, we confess the Trinity and one sole God. In the region of Ancona, Italy, on the Adriatic coast in 1604, St. Serafino, <coughs> a Capuchin brother who was diligent in Eucharistic worship and in serving his brothers. Elsewhere, the heavenly birth of numerous other saints whose names are inscribed in the Book of Life.